So by now you should have some skill with creating keyframe animation. In this lecture, we're going to talk a little bit about the ideas and the concepts um, that you should have in mind when you're animating. You know, you know how to click a keyframe, but um, what are the concepts and ideas that we can apply to our work that are going to take our work from being, um, you know, amateur to um, really polished, professional-looking animation? Um, well, the most important thing are the animation principles such as arcs, easing, squash and stretch, timing, anticipation, follow through. Um, if you want to get into even deeper detail about these animation principles, um, there's a wealth of information on the internet and plenty of books out there on animation. Many of uh, the animation principles focus on topics specific to character animation. For the, the purposes of this lecture, we're going to focus on those animation principles where, which are especially important and useful for, for motion graphics animators. These are things that uh, you're going to want to think about and apply in your work regardless of whether you're animating a character or a logo or a piece of text on the screen. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to talk about is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, this is the idea of arcs. And basically, the, the thought behind this uh, animation principle is that very few things in nature move in a straight line. Almost everything moves in arcs. You know, think about the way any uh, human being or, or any other animal, um, the way our, our limbs and body parts work, they're based off of, they pivot around joints. And so as, we, as you raise your arm or you take a step, the motion of your arm, the motion of your, your legs describe an arc. Um, as you walk across the ground, if you could put a light on the top of your head and then trace that, that light through the air as you walk, you'd see that your head, as you move forward and bob up and down, your head creates a sine wave. So there, there are arcs all around us. Things move in arcs. Um, any flying or thrown object is going to be acted upon by gravity and pulled back down towards the ground in an arcing trajectory. Um, so there are very few things that move in perfectly straight lines. So knowing this, this is something that we want to try to implement in our work to make our work feel uh, fluid and natural and believable. If you go into comp one, you'll see we have this piece of text, arcs, and I'm going to select it and hit P for position, and we'll set a couple of position keyframes. So I want this to take uh, one second to fly in, so I'll go to one second, click the stopwatch for position, and I'm going to go back to frame zero and drag our text off the screen. We have our motion path here, so by now hopefully you've noticed that whenever you um, set a couple of position keyframes like this, by default we're going to have a linear path here. It's going to be a straight line from point A to point B. You know, this, this is fine, um, but the, the true artist, um, you know, the thinking designer, doesn't simply accept the default you don't you don't accept what the plugin gives you or the settings you get by default. Um, as a designer, it's your job to to master the tools and make the tools deliver the performance that you want or the look or the 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 design that you want. You're not a slave to the tools. So rather than simply accept this this linear move, I want to make a conscious choice about how this layer flies onto the screen. So I want to grab my little Bezier handles and manipulate this motion path into something a little bit more interesting. So now if we render a RAM preview and now our layer flies in in an arc. Which e even just visually you know, a curved line is, is visually more interesting than a straight line. You know, we could take it a little bit further and maybe pull this one down and pull this one up. And now we got kind of a nice S curve there. Uh, 
and we'll turn on motion blur Okay, so now our text is following a nice fluid arcing path as it flies onto the screen rather than simply the, the default linear path. Okay, so, so that's the idea behind arcs.